One of these new features is a revamp of how devices are added to the system. With the version 4.0 release, the user interface for adding devices is simplified and easier to navigate. Let's take a look. With version 4.0, we have simplified the screen by removing the pop-ups and putting everything in a single window with two tabs. The first tab on the left is where you can enter the camera's address directly, and the second tab is used to search for an entire subnet of the network to find and add multiple cameras. Both tabs show the results directly below the search criteria. Let's give it a try. In order to add a device, all you need to do is right click on the server to which you wish to add, and then select the Add Device menu option. First, we will try the search method. Now, I already know the IP address space by looking at some of the existing cameras. All you have to do here is enter the lower limit of the desired IP space, and the system will enter the top end of the address space automatically. Next, select the Scan button, and after a few seconds, the server returns the list of devices found within the IP space. Select a checkbox on one or more of the cameras, then select Add Device and the new device should appear on your resource menu. Okay, now we will try to add the same device again by manually typing in the camera's IP address. The procedure is pretty much the same here. Enter the address, select search, select the camera, and then select add. Okay, there you go. So we added a camera by searching, and we added a camera by entering the IP address directly. And we can now show that new camera in a new frame.